The feet may be 21 years older than when they helped England to the World Cup, but they lost no skill and seemingly precious little speed. They belong, of course, to Bobby Charlton, revered Manchester United and England player, and all this week they'll demonstrate the skills that notched up a record 49 goals in 160 international matches. Assisted by football association coaches, some 50 aspiring soccer stars will each day be put through a grueling but hopefully rewarding series of individual movements and team set pieces. Okay, if we can. And it's not confined to the boys. Sandra Lee of Kilbarrick is in there with the very best of them, a testimony to the rise in popularity of the sport among the fairer sex. So have you learned anything? Yeah, sort of. Sort of, and all the things we're doing, the skills and all the tactics. Are you as good, do you think, as some of the boys are better? Well, my cousins aren't better than my cousins, but I don't think anybody here. Would you like to play for Ireland? Too? Oh, mind. <laughs> and if Bobby Charlton can do it, well, maybe not. The three two-day sessions have brought youngsters aged between 13 and 16 from all parts of Ireland to learn from the maestro. Have you learned anything at all yet? I have, yeah. It's, um, you know, it's easy to dribble, it's easy to bear attitudes to the game. Yeah. And yourself? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I think it's great, really. It's, uh, I've learned a lot in the couple of hours I've been here already. You control your temperament, uh, learning skills of the game. And that. Only a few, a bit through it at the moment, but I'd say there's a hell of a lot more to learn yet. And yourself? Um, does, I've learned a lot of dribbling and going past the man, trying dribbling, shooting, and it's great really because uh, your skills improve a lot while you're here. Would you ever think of playing for Ireland, maybe? Hopefully, if I'm good enough. And yourself, what have you learned? Uh, skills and dribbling, hitting the ball straight and oh, yeah! on the ground. And you think you're, you're going to be a better footballer because of it? Yes. You think you'd make international? Of course. <laughs> Football is the greatest game in the world. And I mean, I've played it. I've played it for 20 odd years at the really top level. And every day was Christmas Day for me. And not only that, I was actually paid to do it. Now, as an occupation now, professional football, if you get into the top level, is, is a terrific, it's a terrific um, profession to be in. There's a lot of safeguards with pension schemes now. It, it used to be that at one time, if you broke your leg, you know, that you, your career was completely finished. But there's so many safeguards to a career in football now that I would certainly recommend it. And it is the most popular game in the world. I mean, even in the United States, soccer is the most, is the most played game in the United States. Soccer, not baseball or American football, soccer. And, and it is nationally the worldwide game. And for all the problems with the fans and the hooligans, etc., it is still the greatest game. So I would certainly encourage youngsters to go into it. Soccer is, of course, a physical contact sport. And inevitably, there'll be a few bumps and bruises on the way to that World Cup. And in case you think things always go right for the Supremos, well, think again. Good balance, using your arms. Bad mistake. Retrieve, all right. Let's go.